Hi, this is Nicholas, and this is just a short tour through the new features that are coming in the next version of Mew. Uh, this next version will be the final version we release that will be micro bit specific. Uh, from now on, uh, the development of Mew will be so that it becomes a generic beginner's editor for Python. Uh, this will mean that you'll be able to use Mew with such interesting projects as Pygame Zero and Network Zero. It's important to note also that uh, all the changes that we've made have come from teachers and students and users in the wild. Um, so we're not just making uh, this stuff up. Development is based on uh, feedback from real users. So uh, without further ado, what do we have? Well, working from left to right across the top, we have uh, the usual buttons with a few more. Uh, there's a help button. This will open a browser uh, that will contain help and uh, embedded videos and things that show you how to use the various different features of Mew. The check button will uh, do a code quality check of uh, the code that you have in your editor. It uses two tools for this, uh, Flake, uh, sorry, PyFlakes and PEP8. Um, and the other new button is the files button. You may not know, but MicroPython has implemented a very simple file system on the micro bit. And if you click on the files button, uh, you can actually see what's on the micro bit on the left hand side here. And on the right hand side are files in your uh, Mew home directory. So how do I transfer files? Well, I just drag and drop them. So by dragging near one.py over onto the micro bit, I eventually see it arrive as it's been uploaded. And likewise, if I want to move to do.txt off the micro bit onto my local computer, I just copy it over like that by dragging and dropping. And if I want to get rid of a file on the micro bit, um, I right click on the file that I don't want anymore and select delete. Again, if I don't select delete, uh, it will just cancel that operation. So. It's the simplest, simplest possible file browser for a very, very simple file system. Um, the editor itself has had some improvements as well. Uh, we were asked whether Mew can be made aware of the underlying micro bit on the MicroPython API. So we've in fact done that. So I can do things like import micro bit. You can see I'm getting suggestions here. Um, and uh, I can start to do interesting things while I'm writing code. So I can say micro bit dot display dot notice how that it's suggesting the various methods that are attached to the object. So I'm going to choose the scroll method. And when I start to call the function, uh, documentation pops up, including across the top a hint for what the arguments are for this method. So it's telling me that the first thing I need to enter is a string. And that will do for now. OK, I'm going to make some obvious mistakes here and show you that the checker works indeed. Um, so as you can see, there are red lines underneath various bits of code that have problems with them. And there are also red arrows in the left hand side margin, just like teachers do when they're marking homework. If you click on one of these red arrows, a little post-it note pops up and tells you what the problem is. And in this case, there are too many blank lines for above this line. So I'm going to just correct that problem, get rid of the little post-it. Um, wonder what this is. Well, this is a syntax error. Python cannot understand this line. Check for missing characters. And look, there's a red line under where uh, Mu thinks the missing character may be. And it's at the end of the line. And of course, we need a colon there because that's how Python works. And if we look here, unexpected indentation, no new line at the end of the file. Well, there's unexpected indentation because uh, we forgot to put the colon in and the line above. So I'm just putting a new line at the end. And if I click check again, it checks the code and I don't see any red marks. So I've been a good boy. I can go to the top of the class uh, because I know at least that my Python code is syntactically correct. So it should run, although that doesn't mean that it's bug free, nor that it does what I expect it to do. But uh, it at least gives the beginner programmer some level of confidence and some way to try and work out where there may be problems within their code. And the final thing that I need to explain is that when we do release this version of Mew, which will be in about, I don't know, a fortnight's time, it will come with the latest and greatest version of MicroPython for the microbit, which contains lots of super duper and top secret new features, which um, have been an awful lot of fun to create. And I'm really looking forward to revealing them to the world because uh, we're very, very excited about some of the things that you'll be able to do using MicroPython on the microbit. 
So that's it really. Uh, I, I hope you found that interesting. As always, I appreciate uh, constructive criticism and feedback because, of course, uh, we take this and we feed it back into the next version of Mew. We listen to our users and we try and make Mew the simplest um, and most helpful editor for beginner programmers. Thanks for listening.